Sports. Welcome, folks, to Rice Echo Stadium in Salt Lake City. Easily one of the most passionate and still underrated environments in college football. This crowd ready to roar for the Utes. It can be a tough place for visitors to win. And while we have a fun one here ahead, a top 10 team walking into the snake bit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Taking on the 11th ranked team, the Utah Utes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. starts from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. the sideline out of bounds and they avoid the turnover there oh my gosh chris you can almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the off hold on a second the replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play so after taking a closer look the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field
first and ten play coming up. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. Man, I really love the way more and more offenses are using the receiver in motion pre-snap. Give him a chance to get the football with a couple blockers in front of him. He's got all that speed built up. You get the ball in his hands, and you better look out. He could be off to the races. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. It's a quick grab. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. That completion makes it second and medium. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Good enough for first down yardage. Well, this is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up a football game. Everything seems to be working, whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they could be in for a long day. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 now. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Receiver makes the catch. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of him. He'll hand it off. And he's finally tackled out the two-yard line. Chris, this has been a fun opening drive to watch by this offensive coordinator, blending everything, mixing in run with pass, a lot of formations. This defense right now is guessing what's coming next. Now they're in that goal-to-go -to -go situation. Touchdown, tied. This quarterback on fire today. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big down. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Zero. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee to bring the football to the 25-yard line. coming up how aggressive will it be looking to throw it's Wilson trying to create outside the pocket now just trying to get rid of it and he just throws it away incomplete didn't see anybody open it's gonna bring up second down well the pass rush does a good job of chasing him out of the pocket He's trying to buy some time looking downfield, but he better be careful being too patient. He gets hit as he throws his football, and it falls incomplete. Breaking free at the 35. Good enough for the first down at the 37. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. It's a solid run. Gives the offense a first down and a new set of downs. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. First down. Looking to throw the football. He's running out of time here. It's a short completion of the tight end. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into. But the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Short completion there. Second down coming up. And the quarterback dropping back. 
Quick throw complete to the tight end. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. This is exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. The game makes it second and medium. Here comes a handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off, and at least picked up some positive yards. Quick throw to his receiver. Catch is made. Room to run here. Finally stopped at the four. Great catch and run. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Utah. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And he knocks it right through. they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. some adjustments to get a stop. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Well, heck, if they hadn't dug themselves such a big hole, what a positive play here, using that jet motion and that touch pass to pick up some huge yards and giving them a chance anyway of trying to come up with a first down. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. So ball of the 30, this is a manageable third down play for the offense. Try and muscle for the first down. And they get him down to wrap up the first period of play. And the punt team now on to kick it away. He's on to boot it away now. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. Offense takes the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive, right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. Play action here on first down. Pressure is coming. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Oh, another great play by an Alabama defensive lineman. And you just think about it over the years, probably the last 30 years, going all the way back to John Copeland on that 1992 Alabama defense. Most recently, guys like Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Quentin Williams can always count on Bama having great defensive linemen and difference makers. Grab behind the line. It's Mitchell. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. They're able to get a short gain to make this third down a little bit more manageable. But it is third and long, so this offensive line's got to be ready, do a good job of communicating. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. 
And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Well, Chris, it's third down. I understand there's a tendency for the quarterback to want to trust his arm and believe in his receivers to make a play. But, boy, that was a tight throw. He's lucky it wasn't picked. And the kick will be down just inside the 45. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Hand off here from the shotgun. And that's a solid game for the defense able to bring him down. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains. And runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Tackle is finally made, but not before a big game. They'll spot it at the 24. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Tackle down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. Quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Oh, gosh, give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Pass midfield. Now the 40. At the 30. Pass the 20. It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. Wow, what a play by this defense to come up with the interception. And a big return. They almost take it to the house. But you got to give the quarterback some credit. Yeah, he threw a pick. But he didn't give up on the play and hang his head. Instead, he makes the tackle to prevent the defense from scoring. And the pass is complete to the tight end. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Utes. Planning up to try the extra point. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. The offense will start at the 25. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. That running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Here's the second down play. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Bama. And the point after is right down the middle. And with that extra point, we're all tied up now in the second quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He's got it inside the 15. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. takes the field. A little bit of my turn, your turn. 
so far in the early going. Both offenses scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. Looking to throw. It's Wilson. Looks left and finds his target there. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Again, this is a really nice job here by the defense, keeping everything in front of them in that situation. Now they're rewarded with this third and long. We'll see if they do the same thing here, or they can sell out and bring the pressure. And the pass is intercepted as he throws into double coverage that time. And they'll take over first and ten. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Second down play coming up for this offense. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. He'll take a deep shot here. Pass caught down at the 20. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. Alabama has now moved into the red zone. They're going to run it here. They test the middle, but get stuck. That run goes nowhere. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. That second down play here. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. A crucial eight-yard gain sets up a makeable third and two. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. And they pick up the first on the ground. Timeout called by the defense, their first of the half, as they try to make some adjustments here. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. It'll be a 26 yard attempt, should be automatic. Long enough and good. And they jump back in front. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So they settle for three, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. He's going to bring it out from his own end zone. And the returner brought down by that coverage team.
comes the first play of the drive. Can they do something in the final 30 seconds of the half? First down, looking to throw the ball. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Man, you gotta love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. Takes the handoff. It's Mitchell fighting off the defender. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. And everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But, man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with airing this one out toward the sideline. And it's incomplete. They tried a desperation pass there as time runs out in the first half. Minnesota's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. That one bounces through the end zone, so they'll start at the 25. And the Utes offense takes the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Graham down the middle. It's Mitchell. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. Boy, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. He pulls it in for a big gain. Explosive gain across midfield. they will spot it about the 35. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. To the air, it's Wilson. Makes the catch. Great defensive play, tackled quickly. Not much of a game. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Now it's second down here. Now the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Throws it in. It's Mitchell. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. He's moving out of the pocket now. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, the offense tries to go with the play action to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying it. They applied the pressure and came up with the sack. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Pulls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back, getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking interception. This one falls to the. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Going the other way, can they catch him? And midfield, inside the 40, inside the 20. And he's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown, Alabama. Wow, this is a risky throw here, so close to the goal line. This defender makes this interception, Chris. 
Sometimes you see a guy hesitant. He's, he might think about taking a knee. This guy didn't. It gave him momentum and the speed that he needed to be able to get to the end zone. And now they'll set up for the point after. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Offense takes the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a big six, a devastating play. They got to recover from that right now. Back to pass. It's Wilson. Receiver makes the grab. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. And the defense sits back in his own coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. On first and ten, looking to throw. Short connection to the tight end here. Not easy to bring down. The cornerback finally gets the job done. That completion makes it second and medium. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Snags the quick throw. Brought down, but not before he picks up the first down. Nice game. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. The Utes line up on first and ten now. Looking to throw yet again. Fires it. He's got it for a big game. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. The pass rush closing in. He makes a quick catch. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. Look at a pass here on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Alexander. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Utah. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he'll leave the kickoff right there to start from the 25. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So it's sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. Gets made on the out route. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Tackle made it at 41. That's a nice game getting closer to midfield.
So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all, that ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. Getting set. Here's second down. Inside give now from the shotgun. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pad support, running over top of defenders. Just a pretty runner, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Defense trying to jam these receivers at the line. They'll run it from the gun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. But the linebacker is really the quarterback of the defense on this play. Diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. Just flew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Easy. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. Marked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This air attack, no problem moving the ball up and down the field today. Alabama getting set with a first and ten coming up. Receiver in motion now. Caught behind the line. It's Hale. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. But they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Offense sets up for play number eight on this drive. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Fights off a defender. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. And that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. They stop him, but it's a first down. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter, critical down in distances, and this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game, showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. They feed the fullback this time. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. And the back now goes in motion. 
That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Positive yards, that's all you want to see as an offense. As long as you're moving the ball forward, it's going to give you a chance to continue to get first downs. What are they looking at now? Third and in inches, it looks like. And they're trying to punch it in here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So forget the field goal attempt. They'll try to pad the lead with a touchdown here on fourth and goal. Didn't quite get the playoff in time. It'll be delay of game. Delay of game penalty will cost the offense five. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. The field goal is good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. Pressure moment for the quarterback. We'll see if he can stay calm and collected. Down a score late in the game. On third and short, they hand the ball off. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. And uh, first down to the offense. Back to throw. It's Wilson. Cut quickly. Breaks loose at the 45. Heads out of bounds after running for the first down to keep this scoring threat alive. Serious pressure now for the defense. The Utes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And looking to throw now on first down. Fires into the wideout. And he throws his third interception of the day. And he's got some open field ahead. Not just the pick, but a big return. Sets up the offense in good position. I get wanting to be aggressive, but down late in the game like this, that's a throw you just can't make. And now, you're probably not going to get the ball back. This could end up costing them the game. Use the running game to chew on this clock now. It's a hard running there through a tackle. You had a decent game there before the defense brings him down. Just keep turning these yards out. Playing with the lead here late in the football game. At the very least, you're thinking about making this a two-possession game with a field goal. But keep eating that clock. try to run the clock out here. The shotgun handoff here. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible.
And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. He hands it to the back. Fights off a defender. Brought down at the three. That was a solid run. You know, sometimes, Chris, we get caught up in the speed and the quickness, and obviously those are important assets to have as a running back. But what you just saw from this guy, and he's had a pretty good day, is his ability to break tackles in the open space. And he gets through those arm tackles. You can see what he's capable of doing after being able to shake free with the speed that he has. First and goal, handoff. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. Well, a really entertaining game. Kirk came right down to the end. They made the clutch plays, and that made the difference. Well, we knew these teams were fairly evenly matched, and you really saw them go back and forth, straight blow for blow. Excellent team win by these guys, doing what they had to do in the final quarter to come out on top. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.